Hello, Gold here, and today we're going to look at the Who Is series, and we're going to start this series off with Who Is Felton Reed. Felton Reed is a character that's introduced after the new Steel Dawn update, and he's an initiate with the Brotherhood's first expeditionary force, and that being the force that's occupying Fort Atlas currently at this moment in time. And he wants to become a scribe. To accomplish this task, uh, he has committed himself to find and document relative technology across Appalachia. Reed's on a mission to scavenge and retrieve this technology, specifically technology with military or scientific value. He's trying to prove himself by impressing the chain of command, and that being Paladin Romani and Knight Shin. But Reed himself seems fairly unsure of which items hold value and which do not. And he asked for our advice uh, as a vault dweller to show him which technical items would be considered the most valuable. And these items can be found at the same location that he spawns at. When you encounter him, this is a random encounter. And we'll see the location of where I actually found him at. I had to server hop several times to get there or to find him. But I was able to find him after probably six, seven server hops. And the location that we show here, so that's going to be probably a very easy location to find him at. My question is what role he's going to play in the future with the Brotherhood of Steel as their quest line uh, progresses. Hopefully we see a lot more of that quest line, more than we did on this past update, pretty short uh, update. But we may see more and we may see his character becoming more and more involved with that quest line. But it's possible, too, that this is going to be one of those characters that's going to send us on missions to find his technology for him. So that's another possibility. We don't really know if he's going to play a major role with the uh, Brotherhood or if he's simply going to be someone who sends us on little daily or side quest. But let's look at where we found him and let's look at what he says. And this is what some say is the easiest location to find him, just directly east of Vault 51. And what we'll see when we port in there, uh, you're going to run across a lot of different characters unless you get lucky from the first time. Even some settlers that you can give advice to and, and gain some reputation there. But as you can see here, I ran across him this time, and I'll see this Felton Reed. Hello so there. I'm going to begin a little conversation with him. Who are you? I'm Felton Reed, newly initiated in the Brotherhood of Steel. I saw what they did with the old observatory and figured uh -huh. I had to be a part of it. What are you doing out here? I'm working towards becoming a scribe. It's a commitment to finding and documenting technology. Okay. I've collected a few pieces, but uh, I'm unsure about All right. any of them. I, I need to present something impressive to my brethren to prove myself. Scribe Valdis taught us that exceptional technology can often be found in objects mm. with military or scientific All right. applications. Do any of these pieces gathered in my camp seem like they'd impress my superiors? Mm. I'll have a look around for you. I understand. I'll be but here. But unfortunately, longer. I didn't realize that on top of that platform right there, he had several pieces that he had already gathered. So. I question him a little bit more just to see what he's going to say technology? here, and basically nothing much. He's just going to ask me if I'll I found what he was looking for. And I decided to, uh, I figured a radio jammer is a pretty good device. So I decided to travel over here to Tyler County Fairgrounds because I know there's always a radio jammer on top of that building with the red on it over there. Um, at least once every 24 hours, especially on a private server, maybe not on a public server. So if you do run across him, remember you don't have to take this step. You can actually just go up on the platform and you'll find a radio jammer there. I found it later, so that's how I know that. And here I'm just going to get this one and take it back to him. Alright, so now we're back. And I'm coming to try and find him again. I don't really see him here at first. So I'm just going to look around a little bit. He's still got to be here, probably. And there he is. There he is. I see him now. He's over there. All right. Let's see if you like this. Did you find any impressive technology? Yeah, I found I something. take a look? A radio jammer. Uh, what's so impressive about this? 
and I have to convince him that uh, right. this is actually going to work for him pretty good. And as you can see, communications. <laughs> thanks. So at that point, that's pretty much all we get from him here. Um, I'm going to try and talk to him a little I've more, but up and get back to Fort Atlas. this is all he's going to say. I don't like to stay away for too long. So he walks off, and I'm going to try again to see if I can get any different dialogue out of him. And I've got to pack up and nothing. get back to Fort Atlas. Same soon. thing. So it's interesting to see what kind of role he's going to play. Thanks a lot for watching. Gold.